Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dust Crochet. Today I'm going to show you yet another headband tutorial. And if you want to see all my other headbands, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. Today I want to show you how to crochet this beautiful flamingo headband. This is a very easy pattern. It's just a two row repeat and you can do this headband only by following this tutorial. If you prefer to follow a written pattern though, I will leave a link for that below in the description so you can follow a written pattern instead. I will now show you how to crochet this. I will give you the stitch numbers for an adult size. I recommend that you do a few rows back and forth and then fit it on your head, try it on, make sure it fits. It would be a shame to crochet the whole thing and then find out that it doesn't fit. So you will chain up an even number if you need to do it smaller or bigger. bigger. You will just remember it have to be an even number of chains. Okay, so let's begin. First, a little about the materials for the yarn. I have used this wool from We Are Knitters. And this is the petite wool, so the small kind. This is the regular wool, so a lot bigger. But I've used a small one today. And this color is Flamingo. You can see all the other info right here. And it also says Flamingo down there. So. That was the yarn. I will, of course, leave a link for the yarn and also how much you will need of it in the description below. Then I've used a 5mm crochet hook, some scissors and a tapestry needle. We begin with a chain, so make a slip knot. And then you chain. So yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And you just keep chaining until it reaches loosely around your head. But make sure to chain up an even number of chains. Just keep chaining until it reaches around your head loosely. I did 86 chains and this fits loosely around my head. Now I will do a row of single crochet. So skip the first chain, move on to the second chain and single crochet. So insert the hook in the second chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Find your next chain at the bottom, insert the hook and single crochet. And the next chain, do one single crochet in each chain. So insert the hook in the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So just keep doing one single crochet in each chain all the way across. I chained up 86 and I skipped the first one so I would have 85 single crochet when I'm all the way across. I now have the first row all done. I will now chain one and turn. So chain one. Turn the work and then skip your turning chain, move on to the second stitch and single crochet into this. So insert the hook and single crochet. Now in the next stitch we will do a double crochet, but we will do the double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So usually we will do the double crochet up here, but we will go down and catch it all the way down here. So we will insert the hook underneath the stitch from the previous row. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So we will yarn over to begin the double crochet. And then we will insert the hook in this uh, gap down here underneath the stitch. Then we yarn over and pull through. Then we pull the stitch up a bit. Then we yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through, two. All right. So now we have the double crochet, but from here. Now we will do a regular single crochet in this next stitch and just on top up here. So insert the hook in the next stitch and single crochet. The single crochet we know. And in the next, we will do a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So again, down here in the gap. So yarn over, 
insert the hook underneath the stitch, yarn over and pull through, then pull up the loop just a bit, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, in the next one, it's just a regular single crochet. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And in the next, a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. So yarn over, insert the hook, and double crochet. Remember to pull the stitch up a bit. All right, so just continue all the way across with one single crochet and then a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row, all the way across. And that's row two. And the final stitch will always be a single crochet. So you have all these spikes down here and you finish with a single crochet. So each row will be exactly the same uh, of this row. So now we will chain one and turn. So yarn over, pull through and turn. And the next row will be just a row of single crochet. So you skip your turning chain, move on to the second one, insert the hook and single crochet. And then you just continue with one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And when you make it all the way across, you will chain one and turn and then repeat the row below. So you begin with one single crochet and then you do a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row. Okay, so for this row, you will do one single crochet in each stitch. Then when you're across, you will chain one, turn, and then you will do a single crochet. You, so you should start each row with a single crochet. Then you do a double crochet underneath the stitch from the previous row, then a single crochet, then a double crochet, and so on. And then you do a row of single crochet. So you switch bet between these two rows again and again. First a row with single crochet and then a row with the double crochets. Okay, switch between these two rows again and again until you think the headband is wide enough. I did 14 rows in total and this measures 12 centimeters. Uh, that is a very wide headband. You can, of course, just do fewer rows if you want it to be more narrow. So now I will cut the yarn so we can sew it together and I will just leave some for sewing. And then take this uh, loop and pull it through so the yarn is secure. Then find my very big tapestry needle. And then I will fold the headband so you have the wrong side out and then sew it together all the way down the edge. When you're all the way at the bottom, you will now weave in the end. And then you can cut the yarn and we are done. So turn it around and you have your beautiful uh, flamingo headband. Okay, this is so cute. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.